time to unbox this weird looking thing. To me, this looks really, really weird. When I saw this package, it looked really weird to me. I couldn't recognize what it was. Of course, I, I know what was coming, but I never expected it to look like this. Let's unwrap it, put it together so I can show you guys. First time, Don Doi, first time. I'm a newbie. These things are so freaking heavy. They're made for Russian men, for sure. Oh, that's better. Morgan, pizza stones. Yes. Yes. We could do multi-layer pizza. Look, 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 we got this thing. And then we got the stones. So we could do like three pizzas at one time. I think it's a cover. You are happy. <laughs> yeah, some things just make me smile. And look at the weight of this thing. Look at this. This is not a good idea. Wait, wait, wait. Now, I'm not a strong guy, but the, just the lid of this thing just weighs a ton. This is super, super heavy. This is super heavy duty as well. It's a real clay tandoor oven with all this really strong iron. Man, this is a real manly, manly tandoor. This is not for pencil pushers. Let me remind you, I used to be a pencil pusher. And now finally find what these openings are for. They're to build up your fire and control your fire. Look at that. So we're gonna lift off the lid and place it on the stand that we got here. Carefully. Look at that. Perfect fit. Now we're going to build up our fire inside on the bottom. There's a small grill grate in there, which we're going to use to make sure that we get enough oxygen to a fire. We'll start by building up a fire from small kindle. We'll put in some fire starters and light it from the front. Fire in the hole! Time to get out some real firewood. I'm gonna be using some beech tree. We're gonna place it around our small fire from kindle and we'll build up our fire until we have enough embers to start cooking. The draft on this thing is just crazy. Flames are shooting out and we only put in four logs. Oh, Jesus, the thing is getting really, really hot, really fast. I didn't expect this, but I think the draft from the bottom to the top, it just makes this a very, very efficient cooker. Now we have to wait until these logs are burned down into embers. I think it's gonna take around, well, at the speed that this thing is going, maybe half an hour, an hour or so for this thing to be fully ready to start cooking. Wow, that's crazy. We've got beautiful embers right now, and that is what beech tree makes for you. There are very little other kinds of tree that give you such beautiful embers. And we've got this blazing hot oven right now. I'm gonna put the lid on. Whew. Of course, we need to take the top cap off so we still have airflow. What are you going to cook? Chicken. No way. Of course, we need something. I want to get some flavor on a chicken. So I want to roast a lemon and a lime. And we're going to do that by taking off. And I really need some practice, Marshall. We got this thing and then this really thick cast iron grill grate. We're going to put that on top. And on top of that, a lemon and one lime. Oh, it's too hot. It's still okay, it's quite okay actually. I think we're now at around 170 degrees Celsius. For our chicken, we got a lovely free range chicken. Listen to that. What a beauty. We're going to stuff it with butter. So I got a nice little bit of Kerrygold. We got some fresh sage. We got the lemon and lime going. It's roasting on our tandoori right now. And I got some rubs from my friend Metin Kalis. We'll start by working on our butter. Get this in here. Oh, nice and sticky from the weather. And this rub is, it's got that, I don't know, a nice and spicy aroma. And there's, uh, of course, a lot of paprika in there and a lot of turmeric and it just smells so good. You can use any barbecue rub that you want. As long as you know, it's gonna taste well with chicken. Now I'm gonna chop fine my sage. We're going to need around one tablespoon of it, fine chopped. Put our sage in with the butter. And as our seasoning doesn't have much salt or sugar, we're gonna put in a little bit of extra salt. Now we'll mix that all up. 
Now we're gonna stuff our chicken with this butter. I'm gonna wiggle my fingers underneath the chicken skin. There's a lot of fat on this chicken. And that's exactly what we need. A lot of fat because we're exposing it to wood fire cooking. We're stuffing it with our butter. Get it all in there. Look, Marson, look, look at how much I got in there. And then I just press it and move it all the way down there. Make sure we stuff the whole bird. Now I want some pockets in the legs as well. And since we're gonna hang it, I'm just gonna make an incision here, right on top of that leg. And this one as well. Get your butter in there. And then push it down, all the way down into that leg. I'm gonna smear the rest of the leftover butter on the inside of the chicken. And of course, a little bit on the outside. Now if you're gonna have some roasted bread with your chicken, you might wanna save some of that butter because it's really good on roasted bread as well. Our chicken is done, ready to hang it. Time to take off the lid. Look at that. Oi, our lime is already, it's already done. Ooh, that's hot. We'll take the grill grate off. Now they got this awesome accessory, a big giant hook, and we're going to just stick it through the backbone of the chicken. There we go, there we go, look at that. Chicken ready to go on the tandoori oven. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> I'm really excited. My first tandoori chicken. Look at that baby. There she goes, sacrificing her life. We've almost got no burning residue left of the, the wood that we put in there. But this heat is perfect for our chicken. The butter is melting, creating smoke. Oh, this is gonna be tasty. All right, time to put the lid back on. Wow, there we go. Now we wanna make sure that we keep our chicken at a low temperature. We don't want this tandoori to be at 400 degrees Celsius. We just wanted to cook it a little slower. And since we're cooking on wood fire, we're keeping check on our wood as well. So we always have a little bit of burning wood in there. Our chicken looks about done. Look at this beauty. Wow. This makes me hungry for chicken. <laughs> it's juicy and it looks super, super tender. It's almost fall apart. I'm a bit scared now. I don't want to drop this into the fire. And the skin looks crackling. It looks so good. Wow. Let's carefully put this on the board. Oh, this chicken looks so good. Gotta let it rest. We gotta make sure she rests sufficiently. Let the juices flow back into place. But when that's done, we're gonna tear her up. Hey Marson, come, come check this out. Look at how little embers we have left. There's almost no, no ashes, nothing left there. Just one little log of fire, just glowing away and it's still freaking hot. This thing is super efficient. It's kind of cool that we are able to cook in an ancient technique like this. In Europe, we've forgotten about this technique, but in the Middle Eastern part of the world, they still use this technique. In India, in Pakistan, in the Caucasus, they grill on this stuff and it's freaking awesome. Why did we forget about this? Why did we lose it? It's so cool. Listen to that A crispy skin. <laughs> this chicken is going to be crazy good. Whoa! Oh. And super tender. Look at the legs. They're just falling off. I think I was just in time, just to be sure. Hey, Morrison, this one's yours. Just gonna lift up that shoulder and look at that. We're just gonna tear up that chicken. Quick incision. There you go, first wing. Time to pop the second one. There we go, look at that. Quick incision, second wing. Now onto the legs. Just cut the skin, pop it open. And look at those juices. That is butter, that is fat from the chicken. Those are juices from the chicken. Now we cut it open, look at that. There's your leg. Screaming hot, super juicy. Time to slice into the breast. Now we're going to slice open our lime and our lemon and we're going to squeeze it onto our chicken. The juices of the lime has caramelized and they're gonna be so tasty. Let's slice into our breast. Now that is a good looking chicken to me. And any oven that can produce a good looking chicken like this. Hey, it is a good oven, right? Morson, this, is, this one is mine. Just for reference, right? This one is yours. That is finger licking good. Mm. It's crispy. It got everything that you want from a chicken. You got that roasty flavor, that, that crunchiness from the crisp. 
from the skin. Then you get that little bit of smoke flavor. You got that juiciness from the chicken. You got the butter, the richness, the creaminess. This is really, really good. I really love cooking in these ancient styles. A clay oven, man, come on. This is freaking cool. And then making something as such easy as a chicken, juicy and tender. It's just a winner every time. I hope you guys enjoyed me cooking on this clay oven, this tandoori deluxe. If you want to find out more about it, there's a link down below in the video description. So check that out. I want to say a special thank you to all of my patrons and my YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. See you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk and keep on grilling. I like a little bit more salt on my. You're not digging in? You're being so polite. How's yeah. that possible? I'm waiting for salt. <laughs> Just put some on the board. Mm. You're so. Look at that. You got nothing to do with babies. This is chicken.